who's got his penis caught on a stove, and he brought the stove in with him. And? Uh, would you be interested in taking care of him for me, by any chance? We're going to let you handle this one all by yourself. They weren't interested in taking this patient at all. They're like, this one has Terry Foster written all over it. Hi, you want to come on back with me and I'll get you taken care of? Can I help you stand up? And I briefly thought about getting a wheelchair for him, but I thought he may not even fit in a wheelchair with holding this stove under there. We don't have far to go, OK? Good luck, baby. Sit kind of far back there. OK, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. OK, I need to kind of take a look and see what's going on here, OK? When I took the, the towel off and I could lift up and see under there, it just about made me sick. And I've seen a lot of blood and guts, but this just, it's just a weak point. His penis was really enlarged and it was bleeding and it was swollen tremendously, but not like an erection swelling. I mean, he had a lot of trauma from where he was trying to remove himself from the stove. I see you're in a lot of pain, man. Yeah, a lot. Okay. This is the craziest thing I've seen in a long time of being an ER nurse, but you just sort of have to kind of stay grounded and stay focused. I just need to ask you, are, are you allergic to any medication? No. I'm sure the guy was embarrassed, but most importantly, he was in pain. I just got one more question. Why? Because I was a horny man, okay? <laughs> It's been the downfall of many a great man. Mm -hmm. He needed emergency treatment, and if he didn't get it, he could end up having his penis amputated. Mm -hmm.